Hey, what's up everybody? Um, just giving you my uh, quick progress video um, on the transformation challenge. I am really stoked uh, about progress this week. You know, like numerically, right? Like a good drop on my waist, a little bit on weight, um, another small bump down in body fat percent. You know, if I were at home, like in a normal, you know, environment or whatever, and I have all like the things that I normally have in terms of being efficient and maximizing my effort, um, that would be a good week, but I did it on the road. Um, I was down in Florida this week and I was between Tampa, Orlando, and Gainesville. I was in three separate places um, in five days and I was still able to make some really good progress. Um, a couple of the things that, that I do to kind of prep myself to guard um, against falling off the wagon, right? I prepare all of my supplements um, before I travel, right? So everything gets measured out, put into baggies. Um, so that literally when I need it, all I have to do is like open it up and drop it into some water or milk if I have almond milk, if I happen to have some um, and you know, good to go, right? Um, that prep saves me a lot of time um, and it helps keep things on track. It makes keeping things on track a lot easier. Um, some of the things that I used, so caveman beef jerky, I really like it, gluten-free, it's really good stuff. Um, and if you're in a pinch, by the way, you know, regular old beef jerky is a pretty good option for getting in protein. Like it's not ideal, right? But if it's better than a lot of things. So, so bear that in mind, right? Um, I actually like travel with a small Ninja blender. Um, so I can use like my, my level one and my OptiGreens. I make sure I get my shakes in. Um, and again, that's, that's better than beef jerky, right? But you can't always stop and break down and make a shake, right? So that's another thing that I use. Um, and then, I, you know, I, I plan to the most detailed extent possible in terms of I look at where I'm staying and I'm like, okay, you know, where's a Whole Foods or a, or a good grocery store, right? If, it, if I'm staying in an Airbnb, I take some cooking into account if I can. You know, if I don't have time or if I'm in a hotel, you know, I, I find the surrounding areas where I can go get you know, some, some quick ready-made healthy food, you know, like Chipotle is a really good post-workout meal for me, basically protein and, and, you know, the white, um, the white rice is more or less what I have anyway. Um, so these are just all things that, like you said, if you want to stay on track while you're traveling, you got to take this stuff into account and you can really give yourself a leg up by planning and doing the work ahead of time. Yeah, it does kind of suck, right? Like it takes some extra effort, um, but it's well worth it, uh, in my experience. So, um, some adjustments to my to my training uh, coming up this week. Um, I am shifting away from what my you know, coaches call like a neurological approach, which again is, is more strength based um, power movement, and essentially it, it puts your body in less overall duress in a sense that you're not breaking down the muscle um, quite as hard as you might be in hypertrophy, which is what I'm shifting to. Um, and you, you typically like neurological training is accompanied with, you know, more lower intensity, steady state cardio. And really it can be viewed as a deload in a sense, right? Like you're still accomplishing really great work, right? Like I had good results across the past several weeks. Um, but that's still not necessarily ideal training for fat loss in particular. It can work, right? Obviously like it works, but it's not necessarily going to be the fastest way to get there. That being said, um, it's good because you can't stay in one phase or the other all the time. If I get a little bit more detailed, um, you know, when you look at neurological training versus and and lists low intensity steady state cardio versus you know hypertrophy style training um, and hit cardio, which I'm shifting to. Essentially, they will stimulate your muscles on a cellular level um, in different ways. Um, on the neurological and list side, that's referred to as AMPK. On the right side, you know, so hypertrophy and HIT, that's more mTOR. Um, I'm going to stay at that level because if I get too much deeper, I'm going to get out of the realm of my understanding. But that's why I have great coaches because they know this stuff and, and I don't. But um, it, it, the detail anyway. Um, but you know, even though mTOR might be the most bang for your buck, a lot of people stay in it for way too long. This guy included for a long time, right? 
um, and eventually you're gonna kind of get diminishing returns. So you need to rotate in between the two. Um, and there's just kind of differences in terms of style, how you move the weight, what your approach is. Like hypertrophy, you'll see as I post some of my workouts this week, reps are a lot slower. You're gonna hold your contractions longer. Um, and you're essentially gonna be creating a lot more muscular damage. Um, which again, though, can be a really good effect in terms of you know burning fat and building muscle. So that's a little bit of, um, of an overview on my training adjustments. You know, and then the nutrition should be in line with the training. Um, I can't, you, you see the adjustments, right? So an increase in protein, um, carbs came down a little bit, fat stayed about the same, um, and that will adjust as the volume in my training adjusts, um, like the number of sets I'm doing in a workout. Um, but that'll be something that I'll just tell you, like a great coach will line your nutrition up with your training. I don't necessarily, I, let me rephrase that. I don't have the understanding to explain that to you in great detail. But if you're looking for more information on that, I know the right guys. I can turn you on to some people. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of it. Um, a lot of detail there. As always, if you have questions, concerns, um, please hit me up. I'm happy to help you. Have a rock star week. See ya.